All right. So hi, uh, my name is Natalie Benoit, and I am a master's student in the Pelagic Ecosystems Lab at the University of British Columbia. So today I'm just going to talk to you about my very short career so far and how I've become a master's student. So my first exposure to research was in the Bahamas. Um, I went to a semester school when I was 16 years old. Um, and this really got me super passionate about ecology and research. The school is really about place-based learning. So we would go out and we would do all this processing in the field and then we'd come back and learn about it in the classroom and then keep learning and then go back in the field. And seeing that connection between what we were learning and what we were doing was really incredible for me. And that's when I became very, very passionate about ecology and conservation. And I knew that this is something that I really wanted to pursue. So that is what brought me to the University of British Columbia. Um, when I was 18 years old, I moved out here and started a degree in the forestry department at UBC. So here's a little photo of me hugging a tree. Um, but I did my degree in natural resources conservation, which is a really, really awesome program. Um, it's super interdisciplinary. So it's not just forestry or silviculture. Um, a lot of it is focused on many other things, including aquatic ecology. So I ended up taking quite a few classes on that. And that's when I became really, really passionate about the BC coast and specifically salmon. And I knew this is something that I really wanted to pursue as well. So in my studies at UBC, I was able to go to a lot of really amazing places. Some of them, including the Sunshine Coast. Uh, I studied in New Zealand for a semester. I went up to Haida Gwaii for classes. And then I actually returned to Haida Gwaii for a research technician position. Uh, where I was working with seabird ecologists. So a little bit different than fish, but it was still kind of that place-based learning and conducting research projects that I became really, really passionate about. As well, when I was studying at UBC, I volunteered in many labs and just the entire process and um, connecting lab work to field work was really, really powerful for me. And I knew I wanted to continue studies after my undergraduate degree. So that became a little bit quicker than I, I anticipated. I graduated my undergraduate degree last April, uh, or I finished last April of 2020, and I began my master's degree in May of 2020. So very quick turnaround, but I landed a really, really awesome project that I was super excited about, um, where I am looking at genetic information from juvenile salmon swimming through the water, and I'm trying to connect it with some catch data as well. So my project is based out of the Hakai Institute on Quadra Island um, through the University of British Columbia as well. And uh, over the past year, I spent almost six months up here. It's actually where I'm speaking to you right now from. Um, and it's incredibly beautiful, really, really cool lab facilities, really awesome field work as well. So thus far, it's been a pretty, pretty cool experience, I would say. Uh, so here's a few more photos of me doing work for my master's thesis. Uh, the photo on the right is a little tiny chum salmon. So we caught this one uh, out migrating through the Discovery Islands. And uh, as you can see, it's only about seven or eight centimeters long. So really little guy. Um, and then this picture on the left is me processing genetic samples in the lab. So I extract DNA from these fish and process them. So my project has been a really, really interesting balance of lab and field work. And thus far has been pretty awesome. So any advice to people who are interested in pursuing research in conservation, ecology, biology, um, I would say definitely volunteer in some labs, apply to some positions. And even if it's not exactly what you think that you necessarily want to study, but if it's in kind of a relative field, I would say, go for it. Like I spent a summer looking at seabirds and I knew I didn't really want to be studying birds for the rest of my life. But I think if you get out there and you get in the field and in the lab and you start making these amazing connections, it doesn't even matter what you're studying. It's just so cool to be doing what you're doing. Um, and as well, don't be scared to put yourself out there because at one point, like no one knew this stuff. You know, at one point, it's hard to believe that some of your, the people that you're learning from didn't know this. So ask a bunch of questions and put yourself in some of these positions where you're like, I don't know if I can do this because odds are you probably can with some guidance. So 
yeah, if you're definitely, if you're interested, go for it and work a ton of different positions and see where it lands you. So thank you.